Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So today uh, I'm going to show you my latest haul uh, and this is potentially going to be a longer video. So this haul consists of products uh, from Poland and these are all like small independent brands and uh, I've just kind of realized recently that they became very popular now in Poland. Uh, I've lived in UK for seven years now uh, and uh, I remember when I still lived in Poland, these brands were not really a thing yet. These days they are like super popular and I was like really curious about them. So I did order lots of stuff uh, to my mom's um, and then my friend actually brought them uh, to me uh, a couple of days ago. So yeah, I'm just going to show you everything I've got here. It's a lot, okay? So I'm just going to run quickly through all of these things. I do have a little makeup, a bit of skincare, a lot of like bath and body products and some hair stuff as well. Uh, and I'm going to start with makeup, I think, because I only have one brand here. So that kind of makes sense to me. By the way, guys, all these brands or most of these brands actually ship internationally and some of these products are available in like separate shops in the UK, for example. So I think you'll be able to get some of these products or most of these products, um, no matter where you live. Uh, I'm going to leave all the information in the uh, description box below. I'm going to give you all the links and all the stuff. I'm just going to spend like a lot of time uh, doing this now so that you have like everything there, um, like properly. Uh, and let's start now. Let's start with the makeup brand. And the makeup brand I'm going to show you is obviously Glam Shop. Uh, this brand seems to be like extremely popular in Poland, like everybody raves about them. Uh, this brand was created by a um, YouTuber uh, and this is extremely popular um, amongst makeup artists, amongst... Um, influencers like everybody raves about it uh they have this special formula of turbo uh, glitter uh and this one apparently is amazing so i was super excited i really wanted to try um, and get myself a palette so i ended up buying four of them because you know the choice was so hard there were like so many palettes uh they looked amazing um they are all, all like different sizes uh i got four of them so i'm just going to quickly show you what i've got here i'm not going to like swatch all of them because we don't have time for that today but if you'd like to see some of these palettes uh, a little bit closer if you'd like me to do a deeper kind of like a review of them or maybe like a swatch party just let me know in the comments and we can do that for sure so the first palette is this one over here this is blask Ichenia. that means uh i don't know gleam and shadows maybe maybe that would be a good translation i think um it comes with like a sleeve and this is how it looks like it is really pretty i'm going to swatch one of them just like a couple of swatches just to see uh how the formula feels but this is stunning the next one is this one over here and this is celebra this is how it looks Wow, this one is actually really pretty. So I just, I can't really wait to like test them out. So I'm probably going to like play with them a little bit tomorrow, but that looks really, really beautiful. I literally feel like I would like to swatch them all, but we don't really have time for that. Uh, so I'm just going to swatch probably the last one. Uh, now we have the nine pound palette. This is Paprika, um, looks like that. This one actually has a mirror. And look at the shades here. These are like so cool. Like look at this one or this. this. These are really, really pretty. So this is the last palette that I purchased and this is Laguna. And this one I'm just in love with. Like look at that. Look at this. I mean, it's very summery. So maybe not necessarily perfect timing for this, but I kind of really wanted that one. So I'm actually going to swatch this one. I'm going to swatch some glitters because uh, I really want to try the Turbo Glitter formula, which I'm not really sure which one of these are Turbo Glitters, but ooh, wow. <laughs> okay, that is just so buttery. I just don't know what to swatch. I mean, they're all so lovely. I'm going to go there for this one. This is so pretty. Oh my God, this one too. They're just beyond buttery. They're super soft, super buttery. There might be some fallout with these. I'm not really sure, but like, uh, I think with such buttery um, uh, shimmery shades, you might get a little bit of fallout on your like, um, uh, under your eyes, but uh, obviously that's nothing that you couldn't deal with, right? With some brush. I'm just going to swatch this one as well, Laguna. <gasps> that pigmentation. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, these are beautiful. 
look at that. <gasps> I just can't wait to use them. I'm definitely going to try and create something with, uh, I think probably this one tomorrow. The Laguna one is just so stunning. Uh, but obviously all of them are really pretty. I just couldn't make my decision and uh, honestly, I just chose these four, but this was such a tough choice. I think at some point I had like seven palettes in my basket. Okay, so we have makeup out of the way. Let's move on uh, with the other brands. Next up, we're going to talk about Yop. Uh, Yop, because it rhymes with soap. Uh, this brand was created by a husband and wife. So this is like a family-owned brand, we can say. Uh, it's very natural, like uh, all these, these products are like 97, 98% natural and uh, these are mostly like soaps and like body products. So the first set that I purchased for myself, and look at those pictures here. Uh, so this is rose and I think this is going to be like frankincense, but I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I think it's frankincense. So this is a uh, shower gel and like a body butter. And yeah, the packaging is so cute. So this one is like a little penguin here. The next one is um, Earth Balance. Uh, and this one is with patchouli and blonde trees. And this one has like a monkey here. And then the last one is with this cute little cat. And this one is like a winter dates. I think that would be the best translation of it. But like, oh my God, that's so cute. Uh, by the way, the scent of these fragrances, they, they are very natural. So you kind of have to use them up like in like three months after opening. And the scents are really lovely, but they're not like too overpowering. So they don't really have this like almost deserty kind of like a sense they're very natural because you know all the ingredients or most of the ingredients here are very natural too so if you're looking for a brand that sells natural um kind of bath and body products i think they do have some other stuff in their offer as well but these are so cute and i love the packaging but that's not everything i also got myself two hand soaps and uh, these are winter muffin this one over here and vanilla and cinnamon and look how big these are like these are 500 mils so the next brand is mokosh uh, i think i've mentioned that brand in one of my um empties videos uh, there was one product that i tested already mokosh is a family owned brand what i love about it is that the name mokosh is the name of uh, mother goddess in old polish religion like she was the goddess of earth um and yeah that is actually really lovely and i love the fact that they sent me the product in this nice pouch so that is really good as for the mokosh products i uh, started with uh, the two products that were like recommended the most so the first one is um bronzing body and face balm with uh orange and cinnamon and this is that and this had so many great reviews that uh, people are saying that they hate like tanning products but this one is amazing then we have a face cream and i don't really need another face cream but this was so highly recommended i was like yeah i'll try it so this is a regenerating anti-pollution face cream with raspberry and apparently it smells amazing but this one actually you have to use it within like three months after opening so i'm just going to leave it like that for now uh, this one is 60 ml, so it's quite large too, so you kind of really have to commit to use it up. And then we have something I kind of wanted to try as well because of the scent. So this is body balm with chocolate and cherry. That sounds like a dream, okay? Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks and this actually can actually, you have like five months to use it. And then I also got this mini here um, as an extra item. Uh, this is body salt scrub with melon and cucumber. So I'm just going to test it out and see how I like it. So that is really, really cool. So the next brand is Ministerstvo Dobrego Medwa and this brand is owned by to friends and it means ministry of good soap i think that will be a good translation for it so this brand is focused on uh, creating artisan soaps but also like they do have some other products as well uh, they are like small batches this, this is like, all very kind of like crafty in here so the first item i bought i just took the sleeve off already but this is uh, the uh, plum set comes in a box like that and this set contains three products so obviously they're all going to be like plum fragrance so we have um a nourishing uh sugar uh, exfoliator for your body over here it's massive it's very heavy and let me just have a sniff oh god oh my god this just smells divide it smells like like chocolate covered plum it is just so 
dreamy. I mean, wow, that's that just goes straight to my bathroom. The next item is actually really interesting because this is a body bomb. Yeah, it's like a body bomb in a stift. So have you ever seen anything like that? Because that just looked so interesting to me that I kind of felt like I really needed to try it out. And this is how it looks. And it also smells so... Oh, it's just so mouth-watering. I just can't even... Amazing. And then we have a... This is an, um, a plum kernel oil. Uh, you can actually use it... Uh, on your skin, on your hair, on your nails. So it's like a pretty much like multi-use kind of oil. So that is really, really cool. Uh, we have two more products from this brand and obviously I kind of had to try one of their soaps. This one is in cinnamon scent. Oh, <laughs> everything just smells so amazing. So this is how it looks. Mm, okay. Oh my God, the scents, amazing. And then I have this uh, cleansing a paste for your face. Um, it says halva here. So this is like those like, is it Turkish? I think it could be Turkish halva, kind of like a very sweet snack. Uh, I don't know if you've tried it or not, uh, but this is supposed to be in that scent. Uh, and this is how it looks. So this is like a skincare product and I'm super, super excited to try it out. It's 120 ml. So the sizes are actually quite quite generous right in here okay so that's that we're moving on to another brand now and our next brand is Hagi. Hagi is a brand created by a mother and her daughters the mother is uh, she's a chemist and she's a cosmetologist so obviously she knows what she's doing uh, and we have a couple of items here this one I did not expect this to be that big but it's super heavy it's 1300 grams massive and this is a, um, bath, these are like bath salts, right? Uh, so this is supposed to be in Forest Tales scent. Let me just have a quick sniff because why not? Oh, that's like a really nice kind of foresty scent. It's actually going to be quite cool for like Christmas time because it does give me a little bit of like a Christmas tree vibe. So that is really, really cool and it's massive. And then we're moving on to these products here. Uh, these are um, bath powders so i've never actually tried anything like that sounds really interesting these are a little bit smaller but like 400 grams so yeah and this one is with calendula uh, so a quick sniff it's really nice this one is um smells a bit like herbal like floral help herbal kind of scent uh, and then we have another one which is with uh, bath powder with goat's milk so obviously that that one's not going to be vegan uh, but I think the other ones are vegan. Yeah But this one obviously I just kind of need to Oh, this one smells just so good. It doesn't really smell like a proper goat's milk or anything like that But it, it has like really nice kind of creamy scent. So this one is beautiful uh, We have two more products from Hagi. We have a natural scrub uh, with plum kernel and jojoba oil. So there you go and obviously I would just kind of have to sniff everything because, you know, mm, that one is so pretty. So this is another plum product. I think I have a theme uh, <laughs> here, but this one is not really like a plum and chocolate. It's more like, I don't know even how to describe it. It's like a very natural pl plum, but I would say it's like a creamy kind of uh, plum, like a plum, I don't know. It's really difficult to describe, but it's really beautiful as well. Uh, so I'm super happy with that. And then I have a soap, a bar of soap. I think this was like an extra added to my um, order. So this one is with sweet almond oil. And like a very kind of uh, simple soap. And it does not really have, it's not really scented. So it has this very natural soap scent to it. Okay, so now we have another brand that was created by um, a husband and wife, uh, and this is Recibo. So it seems like this this is one of the most popular products uh, by Recibo. This is Master Touch Beauty Balm, and it had so many great reviews. So this is something that you just apply on your body just to give it like a little bit of like this natural tan with like immediate um, results. Uh, and I can't wait to use it, but I think I'm just going to probably use it uh, towards the um, like you know, spring and summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it now that much, but I'm super excited. And as I said, like the reviews were crazy. It's 98.5% natural. So as I said, like most of these products will be very natural. They're all cruelty free. 
uh, and most of them are vegan, so that's really cool. Uh, next product I picked up is a Melt Away Balm Cleanser. I do love testing new balm cleansers, so when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I mean, why not? Let's try that out. And the last product uh, I picked up uh, from this particular brand is uh, natural self tanning toner have some tan it says here so I love the packaging because it's amazing and I've never tried a tanning toner so that sounds very exciting to me and that's something I can actually start using now 100% vegan natural self tanning toner amazing okay so we have more bath and body products now from the brand nakomi that was created by a group of friends uh, again these are very natural products uh in a really good prices because i was actually surprised uh that i could buy so many products and i didn't really pay that much to be honest so that was actually really amazing nakomi uh first up i have this bubble bath powder summer in greece um a relaxing bubble bath and we have 150 grams over here Next up, we have Coffee Scrub in Scent Cookie Frappe. So that sounds really delicious. And yeah, and it's vegan as well. Uh, and then I got myself a couple of these uh, like little sets. So first we have Christmas Spices. So I got this uh, milk bath. And it looks like a bottle of milk. Look how cute this looks. And then we have Scrub and Wash. And this is supposed to be like a foam kind of formula. I definitely need to smell it now because, you know... Christmas spices, right? Oh, that is just so Christmassy. Can't wait for Christmas now. I don't know if you can see, but this is like a foam, like a kind of dense foam. So yeah, really interesting. Then the other scent version I've got is cinnamon rolls. Again, we have this milk uh, bottle and then we have this uh, scrubby kind of foam. That sounds really interesting. I don't know how this is supposed to be like exfoliating, but we'll see. Ah, oh, another amazing one. Like a very kind of cinnamony scent. I love it. So there's that. And then we have something from a little bit different a scent line. And this is freshly baked papaya uh, pie. That's the scent. I mean, how crazy that sounds. Uh, and this is wiggly shower jelly. Cool, huh? So let's have a look. Ah, oh, that smells, that smells gorgeous. But look at the jelly. That is so cool. Ha! Yeah, it says here, let's take care of your skin now. Hi, I'm stuffed with natural goodies. So, yes. And then from the same scent line, I have this set of, uh, what is this? Okay, so there's a, um, a body scrub and um, a body butter. So there's that. It says here, my cutie pie, what about sweet, smooth skin? Smooth body butter and body scrub. Freshly baked papaya pie. This is how they look. We have a body scrub here, and this is like a regular body scrub, I think. And then smooth body butter. And it says here all fluffy. So I suppose it's going to be fluffy. Let's have a look at this body. Ooh, okay, so this is like a proper body. Oh my god, it just looks. Look how look at that. I kind of want to eat it. It just looks so good. I just I will have a really hard time choosing what I'm going to use in my bath today. Like, it's going to be difficult. Okay, guys, we're moving on to hair products. Last two brands. So the first brand, Anven, was created by a hair blogger. She's very popular in Poland. And honestly, guys, if you're struggling with your hair, just go and have a look at her blog. Um, she knows a lot. And like, honestly, like reading about all the stuff that she just mentions there kind of changed the way I think about my hair. Like, Honestly, I didn't realize all those things there. I did try a couple of products from this brand before. So this time I purchased three different products. So this is the first one and this is the coconut hair mask. So that's that. And this is for low porosity hair. So if you have like very kind of smooth uh, hair uh, that's quite flat, this is going to be a mask for you. The next product I have is a uh, Nothing Silly Natural uh, Hair Mask without silicones. So... This is like a smoothing one. That looks quite interesting to me. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to give it a go. Why not? And then the last product is Grow Me Tender. And this is warming kind of like a, a scalp rub uh, to help 
your hair grow stronger, right? So this is 150 mils and this was highly recommended. So I kind of had to try it out. So that leads us to our last brand of this video and it's been a long video. Robert is going to kill me while editing it, but that's fine. Uh, the last brand is Hairy Tail Cosmetics, another brand created by a hair blogger. Uh, and she also owns like a hair product shop, like online shop in Poland. So it's like she knows a lot about hair, obviously. Uh, and uh, these products are actually really cool because of the the packaging. You'll see. So the first product I picked up, and these are actually quite interesting as well. This is Hairy Tail Squeaky Clean um, Acid Scalp Peel, like. I've never ever used anything like that. So it's supposed to remove excess dead skin cells, sebum and product deposits. Uh, and that looks really, really cool. And I'm going to show you the packaging. And I really love those like, graphics on, uh, on, uh, on, the, on the packaging here. I have two more products. So this one is cool. This is Magic Mushrooms um, Scalp Wrap, Rejuvenating, Rejuvenating Scalp Lotion. Lotion. And yeah, I mean, that looks really, really cool. And look at that. I really love these bottles. It's like a glass bottle as well. So uh, this is supposed to be like nourishing, rejuvenating, and it has those little mushrooms here <laughs> over, over here. So that is so cool. I mean, I have never actually tried tried like proper scalp wrap so i'm really excited we'll see how that's going to work and then the last product of this video is um hairy tail malinois and this is protective hair oil serum with raspberry so this is how it looks and sorry guys but i need to have a quick sniff of that so this is the packaging it doesn't have any animals on it to be honest because I wish it had, but like this is something I'm definitely going to start using soon. Because I'm actually finishing. It doesn't really smell that much. I kind of expected this to be like very um, raspberry scented, but it's not. But that's probably like for the best. Some people don't really like too heavily scented products. Yeah, it has like a very gentle scent only. Very pleasant, but nothing really too overpowering. And again, this is supposed to be perfect for low porosity hair, which is. Um, something I have uh, so I chose the product according to my hair type but if you want to know more about it definitely check those links that I'm going to leave in uh, the comment section down below uh, okay guys so this is everything from me today thank you very much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried any of these products uh, I guess if you live in Poland you probably have uh, but maybe even if you live in the UK you've actually heard about them and tried them so if you've tried them if you heard about them let me know what you think uh, I would love to hear your thoughts thank you very much for watching I'm going to see you very soon in my next video take care bye